Hi guys, I'm Woodcraft Hamster and I thought I would start another series um, and this time I thought I'd look at carving tips. Now there's been quite a few of you that have spoken to me either in the comments or, or separately online um, about various things that I've made and the carving that I do um, and quite a few have asked for sort of little tips and bits of advice on, on how to do certain things. Um, so really this is just sort of a, a short series of videos just to show you some of the real basics that I find really useful. Um, most of this I've either picked up over time as I've sort or found out the best way of doing something um, or if I've been lucky enough where I have had people especially earlier on in my carving career um, where I've had the benefit of people much more experienced than me who have kind of pointed out a, a particular way to do something um, that's either more efficient or makes makes life generally just a little bit easier. Um, so what I'm going to start with, um, and this, this kind of works for anything kind of if you're making spoons, uh, spatulas, that kind of thing. Um, and what you want to do is get a piece of material as close to um, sort of the finished product as you can before you even start carving. So what I've got here um, is a piece of birch and hopefully you can see here, I've basically smoothed it down so that it's, it's a very rough board shape. Um, now this will be ideal for making a spoon or a spatula or anything of that type. Um, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring the camera a little bit closer in and I will show you basically how you get from this to this um, fairly easily um, and the reasons behind why I do that. Right then guys, so here is our piece of wood, so it's just a piece of birch that I've split off um, and this is what we're starting with and as you hopefully can see this is all quite rough and uneven, um, it's not an ideal smooth surface and really just to prepare that I'm going to use my axe um, and just smooth all of this down and the reason I'm doing this now rather than uh, after I've split it is having a, a large amount of material especially behind here a makes it more stable and B gives you something to sort of hold on to. Um, and what you want to do is take your act probably about half to two thirds of the way up. Don't start at the top like this. A, it's not particularly safe and B, you'll just end up splitting off large chunks of wood. Um, so just generally quite carefully, um, you just want to start paring away like so and what you can do you don't even need to, to sort of cut in with the axe you know a lot of people will come in at an angle like this you can actually almost use it a bit like a plane and just start smoothing down like this Once you've sort of generally smoothed down one side, flip it over, start from the other side. That'll help you to get it nice and even. So hopefully you can see there guys, that's now a lot smoother, there's still a little bit of a channel in the middle um, and this is where you decide richly really how much work and effort you want to put in. You can carry on sort of smoothing that down as much or as little as you like. Now to be honest for my purposes you don't really need to make it 100% smooth as you can see on this one there's still a few little lumps and bumps in there but really you're just smoothing it down in a more general way um, and once you've done that you can then take something like a fro or your axe along with some sort of a mallet and really you just want to split that down as evenly as you can it doesn't always work sometimes um, the grain of the wood's going against you you won't get a perfect split but we'll see how this goes So generally, it's pretty much the same thickness all the way around, which is what we want. Obviously this top side now 
in comparison to here, and I hope you can see that okay on the camera, the top side is very, very lumpy again. Um, so again, you do exactly the same process. Just smooth that down. You're just looking to catch the high spots. Don't try and take too much off in one go. Just literally take off the high spots and hopefully you can sort of see there. See if I can demonstrate this a little bit. So if you look at these pieces here, I haven't got one continuous piece coming off. I've got several shavings and that's where it's the bits that are higher than the rest are coming off. So again, we've now got a very rough board. Certainly couldn't build houses with it, but it's all nice and smooth, both sides. And that's essentially what we're looking for. Right then guys, well there you go. Um, literally five minutes worth of work and you get left with something like this. Fairly uniform, even board without too many sort of um, bumps or uh, gouges or anything in there and something the size of this would be ideal for a couple of spoons mark them out on there split it down the middle you've there got two two spoons out of this piece of wood you may even get three um, if you mark them out correctly um, but really it's as simple as that guys and it's just something that I've been doing for a number of years um, I, I got taught this trick off of um, a, a chap many years ago who, uh, who helped me out um, learning my carving um, and again it's a really really useful little tip in my mind um, it just means that you have prepared something so you're not having to remove quite as much material when you're carving which makes it less time consuming and just a lot easier all round uh, but I hope it was useful guys I'll be throwing out a few more of these over the coming weeks um, comments and questions in the box below hit like and subscribe if you'd like to see more and I hope you'll all join me next time Thanks guys.